Hey, what's going on, Leo? How are you? Leo, my name is Antoine, and welcome to your love messages for the end of June 2022. These messages are going to roughly cover the 21st through the 30th for all placements of Leo, including the Leo lover, if you're in the house tonight. So let's go ahead and get right on into the messages. I want to thank you so much for your time. As always, we will pull from the Oracle, uh, the Golden Soulmates Oracle, and then we'll um, clarify it with the Tarot. Messages for Leo for the last 10 days of June 2022 in love and romance. What's going on for Leo? Messages for Leo. Okay, so let's get into it. So first card here is hopeful. And then under the deck, we have complicated. Okay. All right. So I definitely feel, um, I'll tell you what, I definitely feel a very strong bond here between two individuals. Leo. Okay. Now, of course, this can resonate to any particular point of you know, whatever, whatever your relationship status is, whether you're, whether it's a blossoming relationship or it's, you know, a little more serious or it's an actual marriage or anything like that is, you know, just take it how it resonates. But I feel with this hopeful energy and this complicated, it does feel in a way like either there's some sort of argument that is happening right now, some sort of spat, some sort of quarrel on an extreme level. It could be a separation that you're, that you're going through right now, Leo with your person and honestly if it, even if you're single and you're not dealing with nobody you may just be in some sort of complicated personal situation right now and you're hopeful that love still finds you there okay so we're about to go ahead and get into it with this tarot so leo if you don't feel like any of this is going to resonate to you then i just want to thank you for your time otherwise let's keep going All right, so at the bottom here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody's trying to be patient with you, Leo. Or maybe you're trying to be patient with someone. So let's keep going. We have the Death card, okay. We have the Ten of Swords, all right. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. Okay, Leo, it feels like the words that are coming to my mind is benefit of doubt. You're really trying to give somebody the benefit. You're really trying to give some someone benefit of doubt here. You've been waiting. You've been waiting on something to grow, for something to manifest, for something to, you know, just come to be with this person, right? And maybe you're just at a point right now where you're like, I just need to cut my losses because it's just too complicated. Either we're just too complicated together or... You know, the relationship has grown complicated or maybe there's complications outside of the relationship on either part. You know, it, it, whatever. Right. But I feel like with this Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, all right, I've been patient, but maybe I should cut my losses. I feel that with the Death card as well, as well as the Ten of Wands. Actually, I feel like with I feel that with all of these, this is the card that I feel like is patient. Maybe you could be losing hope as well. Hmm. It's quite interesting, Leo. I didn't think you didn't. I didn't even think about that when I when I saw that. Okay. Now you could be losing hope, but the complication is is that this person is still trying to rein you in, still trying to call you in. You know, they're still trying to till your ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I only make that gardening reference just because of the card here. But you know what I'm trying to say. So let's go ahead and look under the deck, Leo, here. We got the Knight of Swords. Dang, you're running away. You're cutting your losses, though. I feel that, Leo. I really, really do. Hmm. 
you know, the Knight of Swords. This is definitely about communication, widespread communication. Look at the wingspan on that bird, on that hawk or crow or or, or, or whatever bird we want it to be. <laughs> but um, hmm. I guess I feel like word travels fast, Leo. There's something that I want. There's something there. It feels like word travels fast. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what that means later. But otherwise, with the seven of, uh, I'm sorry, with the knight of swords there, it feels like you're just. Dang, this camera catch everything, everything on my finger. Anyway, but <laughs> it feels like you're just. Um, it feels like you're just ready to go. It feels like you're just ready to just hop on your motorcycle and go. But I also feel like there's something that's being said. It could be something coming out, uh, something being exposed as well. Hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and start clarifying some of your messages, Leo. So what's going on here between the Ten of Swords and Death? Okay, yeah, Four of Swords. Oh, yeah, you're falling back. You're not giving nobody no more energy and no more effort here. You're not even giving this person... <laughs> Leo, you're not even giving this person a thought. <laughs> wow. Okay, what's going on here between the Death card and the Seven of Pentacles? The Page of Cups. Hmm. This person feels, it feels, Leo, this person has tried to come to you. They've tried to apologize or they've tried to, you know, really make amends and, and show some emotion. Maybe even try to show a little bit of effort into winning your affections back, hoping that they will. Um, but like I said, there's just maybe too many, just too many different complications that are preventing you from even going there with this person again. Okay. And I feel like they've tried to come up with some pretty creative ways, but it's almost like, well, it's a little too late. You understand what I mean? So let's go ahead and look what's going on between the Seven of Pentacles here and this Ten of Wands energy, Leo. And we have the Three of Cups. Okay. Leo. It feels as though you may be leaning on your friends right now. You understand what I'm saying? Your friends may be a good... Um, a good support system for you during this time. Even throughout most of this relationship, it feels like you've been, you know, confiding in your friends emotionally. You know, you, you needed to do those things. You know what I'm saying? And it could be energy. It could be, uh, you know, advice coming from them saying, you know, you need to go ahead and, you know, put a, put, put a rest on that. Put a pause on that, you know, with this person here. You know, because sometimes your friends can see things from the outside looking in a lot clearer than you can see it from the inside out. Sometimes. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and clarify between the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands here, because I feel like this is, this is going to be something. Yeah, the star. Mm. Between the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, you got the star. So, Leo. <laughs> You know what? This person didn't end up being your star, but that doesn't mean that they're not out there. And I know that you'll still continue to be hopeful that this person is out there. I like how this kind of wrapped up in like a little bit of a happy ending. I really, really like that a lot, Leo. <laughs> um, yeah, you really kind of go from a situation where, you know, you're cutting your losses. Like I said, it does feel like you're in separation with someone for sure if you've been dealing with someone. It feels like you're in separation. It feels like you haven't been putting any more effort, any more thought into this person. You know, this person is really feel like with between this death and this Ten of Wands and this Ten of Swords, it's like you're dead. This person is dead to you. You, you know, understand what I mean? Um, and I know that's dramatic to say, but you know, y'all know what I'm saying. Like this person is just not, they're not showing up on your radar no more. You don't have no hope that the situation uh, will uh, give you life anymore. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. 
and then it kind of moves from that into, like I said, this person is still like they're trying to be with you. They're hoping that they can be with you. They're may maybe showing you that they want to be with you. But again, I just feel it just feels like it's just too little too late for that. OK, you've already made up your mind. You know, you already know what it is that you want to do and how you want to move forward in this situation. And it looks like you want to go ahead and just pack your bags, you know, and just go ahead and, 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 and leave. You understand what I'm saying? And then we get to the outcome here with the star. And that star is hope. That star is the symbol of hope here, Leo. And so it's in your outcome. It's sitting here next to this Ten of Swords energy, next to this Four of Swords energy. So it feels like, Leo, when you go to bed at night, it's like you're praying. You're still, it's like you're praying the spirit for you to find or for that person to find you, really. Okay? You're hoping that whoever it is that is meant for you will find you. Because this situation, you're you you it's completely hopeless. You've lost hope in it. Okay? Under the deck, we've got the lovers. Okay? Hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Definitely about your relationships here with the lovers energy. Okay? And it feels like there's been this push-pull energy as well that's been happening with you back and forth, on and off, maybe, with this person. There are some complications. Maybe there are some things that y'all have built together. Maybe y'all have children together. Maybe y'all have businesses together. Okay? You may have been in this situation with this person because we got these two tens, right? So you may have been in this situation with this person for maybe too long, all because you were afraid of what it would mean if you would not be with them. You know what I mean? Like, like you kind of were just being with them just to say that you were with someone. Maybe you felt like this person is, was the only one that would choose you. But that's just simply not true, Leo. Okay? I'm curious to see what the next card is. Okay, the King of Swords. So it looks like the next best person that might be coming forward towards you is going to be someone wise, someone mature. Okay, someone who, um, you know, they may, they, they, you know, they, they, they have good boundaries. <laughs> is what I feel here. Okay, and they're not afraid to communicate. Not at all. Okay. Um, so pray for that. If that's what you're needing, pray for that. Someone who's going to choose you just as equally as you're going to choose them. Someone who is not going to leave you waiting, but then also being dissatisfied when whatever you've been waiting on comes, if it ever fucking comes. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Leo, you're definitely putting an end to a situation that is just, you just no longer see the hope in it. But what I do love about you, Leo, is that you're still keeping hope alive, all right? And it's not discouraging you from finding love later. You know what I mean? There's still a very much, there's still very much an openness here with these, with these two cards, the Ten of Swords and the Star. You understand? So let me know what's going on. I feel like this, and, and, and I love how it actually ends on a hopeful note. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So Leo, let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, then go ahead and hit that button. Not only do you get your love messages three times a month, usually every 10 days, I also give you daily energies, okay? So every day here at the channel, we do the dailies, all right? So Leo, it's been fun. Take care, and you guys have a great one. Bye.